That's huge. Well, good morning. We are back. Finally back out pike fishing. I've been secretly waiting seven months to do this. I was hoping I could have got out a bit sooner, but one thing and another work and whatever else always kind of gets in the way. So, but anyway, we are out again today. Got the, the usual two dead bait rods. I've got one on a roach and one on a bream. So I've never tried bream dead baits. So I thought I would give them a go because I know this particular canal, what we are on, um, it's full of bream. I've done pretty well on roach here before. That's what I caught the PB, 20 pound, eight ounce. Um, last year in November. So roach is always a go-to. I've just got them in the, in the canal at the minute just to defrost a little bit because I've obviously been in the freezer all night and then I'm going to get some holy mackerel liquids injected into them because I have got one of the new new liquids in the ra new range to try the bloody bloody uh, lamprey so I will see if that supersedes my current favorite which is the red predator but yeah it's nice to be back out at least uh, the weather's a lot better than it was yesterday after we had a good old battering from Storm Ashley. As most of you probably are aware that live in the UK, absolutely pissed it down in at about 40 mile an hour winds all day yesterday. Thankfully today, there's not gonna be any rain due and it's only about 10, 12 mile an hour winds. So at least it's not gonna be blowing an absolute hooli. So just gonna do the usual, you know, leapfrog the, leapfrog the rods all the way up the canal and then probably back uh, I've got this the same absolutely dead simple float set up what I always use but I will show you that a little bit later on just in case you've forgotten how I set it up it's so so simple and um, I don't know if any of, if any of you watch this channel before but if you watch some of last year's pike videos you'll know how simple and effective how effective it really is so yeah, I'm just going to sort my stuff out a little bit, have a bit of a tidy up and then I might get the old flask out and have a warm drink and then keep my eyes on the water, see what we can see. But until then, I'll catch you in a bit. The bream's been picked up. Get in, first time using a bream, and it's gone. Kind of feels like a baby. Oh, it's come off. Never. Don't believe it. Damn it. Come off. That's devastating to lose one so soon. Um, on the bream as well, which is obviously a dead bait I've never used before. I have caught something already though. I went to bring uh, one of the rods in because I always like to chuck the, chuck the baits in for a bit to defrost. And I ended up snagging on two. A brolly. Looks like a big fishing brolly. <laughs> like stuck to the bottom it took me ages to get it out but hopefully it'll be a good day it's a good sign that there's well there's that one pike here hopefully there might be a few more i haven't seen much uh, silverfish activity as yet i have seen like the odd odd splash you know far side of the bank but one run hey it only looks small um i did kind of see flashes of it in the water but so I picked the bait up and it didn't half run. <laughs> Just didn't set the hooks properly or whatever, but 
It is a shame because it would have been nice to get one so early on, but it is, like I say, it's still early, so we have got plenty of time left. So keep these crossed out, we can get a couple more today. After losing that fish early, it's gone ever so quiet. Um, I've changed one of the rods to a smelt and I'm trying another liquid that I've never actually tried before called Blue Bluey. One of the lads at Ole Mackerley absolutely swears by it with a smelt and the Blue Bluey. He's, he, every time he goes, when he's struggling, he puts that on and it always seems to do really well for him. So I'm giving that one a go, I'll give that a, a try. Um, I didn't actually move that far from where I sort of started this morning. Obviously I had that run just down there. I have put another rod back there because you can't kind of ignore where you've had sort of runs from, obviously. The pike, pike probably has spooked from maybe feeling the hooks and stuff like that. So it probably has disappeared from there. Um, but yeah, it's all a bit quiet another guy's turned up and he's gone all the way down the bottom where i was gonna sort of end up but there's still there's plenty of room for both of us so i might still venture down there in a bit but yeah still got a little bit of water to cover down here probably should put a bream back on to say that's what got me a you know a run earlier but it's all a bit of trial and error in it what baits i want and stuff like that it's really strange because there's a lock up there and normally when the lock opens you get this big flow through and you, you know your floats all sink it's been doing that quite a bit but the lock's not even been opened so i'm not quite sure it's like a massive undertow in fact it's doing it now really really strange and then the float sort of like pull under and then it just sits back to how it was strange it's obviously an undertow but that normally only happens when the uh, lock gates are open but i ain't seen them open today so I'm not entirely sure what that is, but yeah, we'll keep trying. Plenty of time left. It's still, well, it's about 20 past 10. So I've only been here since about half past seven because I did go look at another little spot somewhere else, but didn't really fancy it. So I've come back. Well, I've come, I've come down here anyway. So yeah, keep these crossed. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get another run. I think the bream's been picked up again. bobbing the float, it's just sort of taking a bit of line. <laughs> Maybe there's some on the end of it. It's only a wee babber. But it will do. Cheers. There we are then. First pike of the, the session and this winter. Not going to weigh it, it's maybe six or seven pound ish or so. Taken on the bream. Bit of a funny take. I think the stop knot's come off my float, so I'm going to have to re rig that up. But nevertheless, first fish, get in there. So I'll give you a rundown of how I set it up. I have done it in a, in a previous video, but I will do it again for you today. So it's just a simple float, sliding float up to a stop knot. Although I have had to re-rig this because the stop knot came off, that's why it was a bit of a funny bite. Um, bit of a rig ring, so I can put a lead on. 
because I need a lead on here today. I've got a buff bead and then a clip and then just a double trace and then I've got a bream on that one. It was the bream what I caught on earlier. Uh, again, you can use this just with a lead, no float behind an alarm, but personally, I prefer to do it with a float because it gives you something to watch and obviously when the float starts bobbing, you get a little bit excited because you know that there's potentially a fish going to be on the end of it. So that's the simple, simple setup what I always use, what I've always used on here, any river, anything like that. Any, basically any time I go pike fishing, this is all I use. It's never failed me yet. Sometimes I, I, I use a single trace depending on what bait I've got on. Nine times out of ten it's a double. Never let me down. Multiple 20s, uh, other fish close to 20 pound on it, and obviously 65 pound braid, which is a Pike Pro, Pike Pro braid. That's never let me down either. So I'm going to get this rod back out, and fingers crossed we can get another, uh, a couple more. The roach has been picked up now, like it had been. Whatever it was, oh no, there we go, off again. Do I fight well in this deep water in this canal? It's not big, I've seen, I have seen it. Smaller than the last one, I think. smaller than the last one. Alright yeah, then fish number two, similar size to the first one again I'm not going to weigh it maybe five or six pounds at a push. This one taking on the roach so that's two in probably less than half an hour so that's promising. Right, let's get her back and get it rigged rig back up and fingers crossed for another one. So I've literally just injected this with some oil and it's gone instantly. <laughs> Is it going to be a bit of a bigger fish? It certainly feels it. Is a bit better. Not mahusive. Yeah, it's definitely a lot bigger. Or is it? Come on. Yes. Bit better this one. Probably 10, 11, maybe 12 pounds. Again, I'm not going to weigh it. I literally injected my dead bait with some holy mackerel and it went instantly. And I mean instantly. Turning out to be a, a decent day, I think. Look at that. Lovely. Right, let's slip her back. Well, from it being very quiet earlier, three fish in quite quick succession, I would say. Probably, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour between all three of them, let's say. That last one, which was the biggest, 10 to 12 pound, I would guess. I literally um, injected it with some more of the Red Predator, which is my favorite. And I'm not even kidding. I literally cast it out, sat back down, and it was away. So hopefully, hopefully, we're getting through to a couple of the bigger ones, which would be nice. Get a nice early 20, that is very wishful thinking, I know that. Um, but yeah, three fish, one lost. Not a bad day really, to say how 
when I lost that first one earlier, it were only smoke. I did see, I could see it in water, and then it went quiet for a good couple of hours. I thought, I think the chance is gone. I have, I haven't even moved that far. I've not even gone all the way up to the lock, and I don't think I'm going to bother now. I think I'm just going to stay here. I've had three fish from this area. The rods probably 20, 25 foot apart. That one went, then that one, and then that one's gone again. So who knows? There might be a couple more before we go home, which would be very nice, but yeah, enjoyable day so far. That's it, on time. Quite a successful session I would say. Three pike and one lost. Not a bad for not a bad first dead painting session to be fair. And to get yeah, maybe 12 pounds. Uh you know, a, a decent double figure pike. Fingers crossed as we get into the winter a bit more, a couple more of the bigger fish will come out, but hey, well, I've, I've still enjoyed it. It's always nice to get out fishing anyway, innit? So um Again, if you like anything on this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you want. Uh, and check out the memberships if you haven't already. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back out now until probably a week on Friday. It's Monday today. Got back at work after my 10 days off and stuff like that. And then I've got a couple of bits to do on my days off. And I don't fish weekends anyway. So, yeah, again, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, I'll see you then.